We got a table. This is our table. My eggs are done. Okay, welcome back to another Webtoon Artist Rambles YouTube video. So I got three questions or four questions. So the first question was for this YouTube video, Webtoon Artist Vlogs, how I use Amazon KDP and Ingram Spark to publish my Webtoon in a comic book. So they were asking, how do you publish in those sites with Ibis Paint? And how do you save as a PDF in Ibis Paint? And can you still upload it as a PNG and JPEG and then they also said Ibis Paint lacks a lot of features Clip Studio Paint has. So those are the questions that I'm going to be answering today for today's Webtoon Artist Rambles book publishing edition. <laughs> so first thing the reason I don't know if that middle question Ibis Paint lacks a lot of features Clip Studio Paint has. I think that's kind of also like in the same line of Clip Studio Paint also lacking a lot of features that like Photoshop has. And I think, yeah, that, that's understandable. Kind of like with like blueberry muffins lack bananas because they're blueberry muffins. They're not banana muffins, they're blueberry muffins. So yeah, it's, it's reasonable that it's gonna lack features because it's, it's a bit painted. It, it's, it's not Clip Studio Paint, just like Clip Studio Paint's not Photoshop. You have similar ingredients, like a muffin has similar ingredients, but what makes a blueberry muffin different than a banana muffin is because the blueberries, it's different. It, it's supposed to be different. It's okay. For their first question, how do you publish on those sites with Ibis Paint? I'm not sure if I'm comprehending this question correctly, but I just want to paraphrase. Ibis Paint and Clip Studio Paint, those are both like drawing programs, and I can use those programs to draw my comic. And as long as my art program, whether it's Ibis Paint, Clip Studio Paint, Metabong Paint, Jump Paint, whatever other paint programs out there, as long as that program allows me to save my files, my art pictures that I draw as files, you know, little photos, you know, that I can take and then post online. That program can be used to turn my webtoon comic into a, the files into a comic book. I just need to have the ability to have files because those files are what we're going to take. And I mentioned this in the past video, so <laughs> I'll probably link that above. But those files are what we're going to take and turn them into PDFs to post onto platforms like Ingram Spark and Amazon KDP. Now, this leads to my next question that I think there might be confusion on or I might be miscomprehending. But they had asked, can you still upload it as a PNG and JPG or JPEG, however you say that. And my concern is, is this, are you wondering if, you know, like with Webtoon and to pass, you upload one picture or you upload, not one picture, you upload multiple files, multiple JPEG files, multiple PNG files, you upload on their platform, that way people can just like read your comic. With Amazon KDP and Ingram Spark, their print-on-demand comic, their, well, not comic, but their print-on-demand publishing companies, so they take your PDF files and then they turn them into books. That's why you have to have like high res in PDF so that they can take all those comic pages, print them into actual physical books. They do have the ebook format as well. Again, I still have to learn that because I don't remember how that works. But they also do have that one. But it's different than like viewing, reading a comic on to pass. You know, here, let me let me just show you so you can like physically see like the difference because I don't think I'm comprehending it right because I think I might be confusing myself and misunderstanding the question but let me show you the difference between Webtoons and Tapas's platform when I post my comic there as opposed to using Amazon KDP and Ingram Spark to post my comic on there to be bought as a physical book. There's no like I can't scroll and read unless it's with the ebook. But we're not going to talk about the ebook, we're talking about the physical book. So let me show you. Okay, here's my webtoon, Catch Me, Find Me, Love Me, on Webtoon Canva. Here is the back end of Webtoon Canva and all of my individual comic pages for that one episode is all right here. Let's go over to Amazon KDP. Here is my books on Amazon. Here's Catch Me, Find Me, Love Me. Let's go ahead and hop on over to the back end. 
here's the back end of Amazon KDP where I have all of my books and I have instead of it being one episode all of my episodes all 29 episodes have been turned into a PDF and uploaded onto here so that people can now go over to Amazon and purchase either the ebook or the whole physical copy and then that way Amazon will then print my books and deliver it to them and that's how I make money with my webtoon on Amazon and, and Ingram Spark. I take all of my episodes, turn it into a comic book like this, and boom! Whoever orders it gets the comic book and I make sales that way. Now, some people had asked if they can like upload individual chapters and onto Amazon and sell that way. I mean, there are people who have it. I don't know much information on that. I still need to do my research and need to test it out for myself, so. But this right here is a short story that I made called School Memories. It's about 30 pages long, so it's technically could be considered, I could probably consider this like a chapter or whatnot, but I have that for sale as well. And it's like, for the ebook version, it's $3.99. For the paperback version, I have it for $5. So I can also do that as well. I can either upload my whole entire series, all 300 pages, <laughs> or I could do just a 30 page. There's like a page limit or whatnot. Hopefully that helps answer the question that I might have been <laughs> confused on. Can I upload JPEGs and PNGs and, you know, read through it like, you know, it's a printing company. So I. What I do, I upload all of my pages, whether it's 30 pages or whether it's 300 pages, turn that into a PDF, put that on there, and then people buy the book so they can have the physical copy to read it or they read the ebook. But that's with Amazon KDP. I can kind of do the same thing with Ingram Spark as well. Get the ebooks, have that available on like Barnes and Nobles. It also makes a listing on Amazon, but I don't want to confuse you because I feel like I'm confusing myself. and. I don't want to confuse you guys either. So yeah, let's hop on over to our next question that they had asked. So then that leads to the last question. How do you save as PDF in Ivis Paint? Currently, I don't believe Ivis Paint has PDF feature, but what I like to use when I'm trying to like, if I want to print a comic book using just my phone or my tablet, because I'm assuming that you just have a phone or tablet since you're using Ibis Paint, so I'm just assuming, you know. But if I want to publish a comic book strictly just using Ibis Paint on my tablet or on my phone, I'll save all of my comic pages, like my school memories chapter. I'll save all 30 pages save them as jpegs or pngs whatever i'm feeling and then i like to use this program called canva okay with canva i can take all of those images put it on there and then save it as a pdf let me know if you guys want me to like do like a walkthrough showing that or i can like create an ebook showing the walkthrough but there are lots of videos on youtube as well already showing like how to make a book with canva you know there's lots of videos showing that but if you want me to chaotically explain in my confusing way I can definitely do that make sure you're subscribed if you want to see that video or just comment down below if you'd be interested in having me show you I don't know why you guys would because I'm confusing myself but yeah so hopefully that helps answer that question how do I make a PDF with Ibis Paint currently you can't but that's where Canva comes to help you can create a PDF with them with all your jpeg or png files yeah here's ibis paint trash bin taking out the tray but currently you can only save as these file types with using the free ibis paint one i don't know what the difference is between the other one i haven't looked it up there i'm sorry but these are the file types that i can save as so what i'll do pretend this is a comic page and i have 30 more of these files i have 30 more of these images all in ibis paint i'll save each one as a photo JPEG. From there I can use Canva. They have a, a website version as well but I'm just gonna I'm just we're just gonna talk about like the free free version but anyways I can use Canva and this is my ebook on webtoon artist advice how to start a webtoon. I actually use Canva to make this ebook and I have this ebook available like to download to read but anyways I can use Canva to add all of my photos, add all of my images, pretend like this is just one, you see, this is one whole image. I could take my comic, add it into Canva, and then I can save it 
as a PDF. So I'll go to here, download, and right here I can save it as a PDF. Then there are other free websites. I haven't used those ones. I know I heard of ilovepdf.com, something like that. I don't know. I've heard of those websites as well. I haven't used them because Canva worked well for me. If, again, if you have more questions about that and you want to know more about what I do and my experience, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I did. I get it. I did a Webtoon Artist Rambles and I focused on the question and I answered it. Quite proud of myself. Elijah, finish the chair. Chair table. Ta-da! Look at our table. Look at our table. Good job. Good play. Good job. Good job. Good job. We can finally sit. Look. Let's flip. Babe, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm sitting at the table. You're so cool. There. You did such a good job. Oh. <laughs>